if there's Ayodhya in the north, there's Sabrimala in the south. And that is the big divide through which the BJP is hoping to make inroads in Kerala. Uh, and it's hoping that it'll be the second state south of the Vindhyas after Karnataka where it makes serious inroads. With us is Sanjeev Shankaran in the TOI Data Center. Sanjeev, Kerala is a big battleground for left and right politics, for secular and uh, nationalist politics uh, or right-wing politics. What is your sense of how Kerala is panning out and what is the data telling you? See, if you look at the, this is the 2014 data. Traditionally, it swung between Congress and its allies or the left parties. Uh, even in 2014, uh, Congress got the most seats and a couple of these uh, parties under others uh, were Congress allies. The, uh, the IUML, IUML got a couple, couple of, of seats. Uh, couple of independents, one from the RSP. Yep. Uh, and the uh, red, of course, is CPI and CP, CPM. CPM and, yeah, CPI. And the, but in, notice one thing about Kerala. BJP actually has a reasonably good vote share, unlike, say, the neighboring state, Tamil Nadu, where it actually... It's 10%. 10%. 10%. Seat, but 10%. They, but they're not able to cross a threshold which would give them a seat. Now, what's happened between 2014 and 2019, uh, the big difference, uh, as you started by saying, is that uh, the Sabrimala issue, which actually started with the Supreme Court uh, overturning uh, something yeah. over there. Now, just hold that thought. Sabrimala, of course, is here, right here in the constituency of Patana Mitta over here. This is where Sabrimala is on the border of Tamil Nadu. Uh, and it's almost like a divisive polarizing issue uh, which which is almost like a uh, like a defining layer motive for this election at least for those from outside kerala when you're looking at that debate uh, if you can enlighten us on on to what extent is sabrimala going to affect the debate in kerala this time i think it's an emotive issue but i'm not sure to what extent it will actually uh, uh, influence the final vote because after the sabrimala issue started but remember one thing about the sabrimala issue BJP and Congress are on the same side. They're asking for the same thing. Mm. You have BJP and Congress yeah. on one side and CPM on the other. Yeah. Right? Uh, we've had some local body elections after the issue erupted and BJP has not been able to get any traction in the local body elections. But it's probably not uh, reasonable They have both to opposed the entry of women into Sabrimala, yeah. uh, which is what the Supreme Court had ordered. Had ordered. Yeah, that's the thing. But uh, now we shouldn't, uh, it's not uh, wise to uh, extrapolate too much from local body elections to the Lok Sabha election. But on the face of it, on the available evidence, BJP still hasn't been able to cross the th uh, threshold of you support. You were saying that you know, BJP is ten percent of the vote, which is quite high with zero seats. Let's see where the BJP vote is concentrated, and it's really concentrated in in pockets around the state. Uh, uh, dark saffron right there at the bottom yeah. over here, That's and then some bits. It's pretty much all over the place. Yeah, Kanur is a place where, which is uh, infamous for the violence, political violence. There, I think you have a CPM MP there right now. Uh, CPM is very strong there and so is uh, BJP has a reasonably strong presence there. So it there. only needs to cross a little bit of threshold to make uh, all these light saffron into dark saffron. Then actually it, yeah, it needs that. Uh, I think the threshold is still some distance away because uh, 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 you know, the Congress is also s strong in quite a few pockets. But uh, they probably fancy their chance of actually getting a seat this time or maybe more than one seat. Okay. Sanjeev, uh, of course, the politics of Kerala is very different from the politics of North India, with the CPIM, which is taking on the, uh, or the left, which is taking on um, the BJP. The, the, um, how is the CPM dealing with the politics of religion and the politics of polarization, which is now unfolding in Kerala? See, CPM has taken a very clear stance there, uh, where they wish to uphold the Supreme Court order. So legally, you can't fault them. Politically, they've taken a very clear stance, which uh, puts them in a separate category. You have BJP and the Congress on the other side. But we, we know from experience, every time the Congress supports or is on the same side as the BJP in any religious, uh, in, a, in, a, in an issue where there's religious polarization, it's the Congress which ends up uh, losing vote share, which goes to the BJP. So I would say that uh, BJP and CPM are probably the ones who have gained or lost the most. I mean, gained the most from that uh, from the issue. Let's now look at this is the this is a simulator, of course, that the TOI has built. Uh, let's see what happens if the NDA gains about five percent no. in Kerala. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm moving this cursor here to five percent. This is based on vote shares, and it still doesn't. Registered any, it just registers one seat, I think, for the NDA now yeah. at a five percent uh, growth. Let's see what happens if UPA goes down by five percent. Um, not much. See, but again, what happens in the case of uh, UPA losing uh, seats is that uh, it's the left that gains. 
Mm. And if you're looking at 2019 Lok Sabha elections, uh, it essentially means it doesn't matter if your UPA wins or the left wins. Hmm. Neither side can go with BJP. So let's so, see what happens uh, if, if the left goes down by minus, say, four or five. Uh, that's the thing. Even if UPA comes down by five percent and the left comes down by five percent, the NDA is only gaining one seat here. UPA is still at nine, left at seven. So and others at three. So this is the the scale of the challenge for BJP, which will make one seat in the south with a five percent gain for NDA and minus five for UPA and left together. Uh, this is a really big mountain for to climb for the BJP, which yeah, already had ten percent of vote yeah, share in Kerala. It's not. It's a. It's almost a, an impossible task because at the end of the day, the left will support the Congress in a. You know, if there is a government formation issue that comes up, so uh, if the Congress loses out, it's the left that gains largely. So, so I think the BJP is looking to make big inroads in Kerala this time, or it open its account in Kerala because on the back of the Sabri Mala dispute. But these numbers, this simulator shows you the scale of the challenge that the NDA faces as the challenger in this polity of Kerala. We'll of course keep continuing these conversations in the TOI newsroom in our data center, where we will dissect. One state every day as we head into this crucial poll in 2019.